<clears throat> Hello, my friends. I am B, and this is B's Intuition. And today's reading is going to be about I have a feeling it's going to be love themed because like already the, the cups are wanting to come out and I haven't even, you know, set an intention yet. So I feel like there's going to be love involved, but I think that this is going to be what you don't see right now or what is hidden in love. I think that's what it's going to be. Okay. Let's see. Um, spirit, please tell me what the, is going on for the collective right now. What is being hidden or what is hidden? Um, okay, thank you. So we have seven of pentacles. Seven of wands. Okay, so we got a theme of sevens. Two of wands. The tower card. Ooh. Father of Wands. Okay. A lot of wand energy. Okay. Uh, four of Pentacles. Um, well then. Well then, well then. So initial thoughts. Somebody's building towards something. I see it like, you know, these are practically steps leading this person somewhere. Um, and the pentacles have to do with like security, stability and stuff. So something, somebody's building that either within themselves or within their environment, pretend, potentially working on a hobby or something along those lines. With the seven of wands, there is success or the strong desire for success, especially when it comes to passion here. So yes, okay. I'm seeing that this could be very much a romantic situation where somebody is potentially building themselves up so that they feel confident enough to come forward um, and then they're able to have success because they believe in themselves sort of thing. Uh, with the two of wands, this person feels a, a certain sense of lack but they know what direction to head in. If you notice these two wands, it almost looks like a path or a road. Um, so I feel like they know the path and the road that they wanna take. It's just a matter of acting upon that. And I see that with the tower card, once they do act upon that, there is going to be a shakeup in their life and very much your life. Um, they're embodying the King of Wands energy. This is the Father of Wands, um, uh, which is the King of Wands um, in this deck. But um, yeah, so they're trying to be this like fiery, um, confident sort of personality. They may be boisterous, which is a, a word that I don't use very often, but somebody that's very life of the party sort of like makes people laugh, makes people interested and potentially very social person. With the Four of Pentacles, this is something that they very much hold near and dear to their heart, something that they really want to hold on to. At the bottom of the deck is the High Priestess. So um, my collective is very intuitive um, and the people that I connect with are intuitive. I think that that is that's my belief, you know, because I put that energy out there. Um, so I feel like this very much represents you right now. You may be able to tell that this person is planning something. You may even know who this person is if you trust in your intuition during this time and potentially divine guidance as well. Okay, so let's start clarifying. Clarification for the cards. For the cards, for the cards, for the cards. Okay, let's start with the Seven of Pentacles. Please and thank you. What do we got to clarify? What are we walking towards? That's too many. Please a little bit less. Thank you. All right, what is. Huh. All right. Anything else for this uh, Seven of Pentacles here? 
Lisa, thank you. Okay. Huh. Well then, well then, well then. The Page of Wands came out in the reverse. The Page of Wands upright is all about a youthful sense of optimism. So in the reverse, I feel like this person may be slightly jaded. Um, something from their past is potentially holding them back or making them feel inferior in some way or not positive about the outcome. The Judgment card and the Eight of Pentacles came out. And I actually really find this a fascinating energy because the Judgment card is all about like a rebirth here, like a like next phase of life. Um, dramatic transition here and like especially when it comes to spirituality um this person may be working on their own spirituality maybe that is giving them the strength to come forward and it's really quite cute actually that this um so it's the seven of pentacles that i'm clarifying with these cards and the eight of pentacles came out and the eight of pentacles obviously comes after the seven of pentacles so this shows this is actually a very positive sign. It shows that this person is progressing in their uh, pursuit or whatever they're working on right now. They are actively progressing. I really like the um, Eight of Pentacles because it's just one away from the Nine of Pentacles, which has to do with, you know, a lot of stability, a lot of like feeling good on your own, independent, and, you know, embodying that sort of confidence, stability and groundedness um so it's like whatever they're working on and i think that this has to do with their um yeah because I, I think they see that this page of wands in the reverse isn't working for them this isn't something that is helping them in any way come towards this situation um the temperance card um, not temperance card. I don't know why I said that. Uh, the judgment card is saying that this person wants to move out of that phase of their life of being insecure. They could have been trapped in that mindset of like, what's the point of trying? If I do this, it's not going to end well. So I feel like they are being very much called to reconsider that frame of mind and I feel like they're working very hard to overcome that right now um so sorry about the noise in the background stuff's going on outside um so yes okay so let's see um bottom of the deck star card this person very much could see you as a manifestation or a um dream fulfillment um something to do with their destiny they could perceive this as their destiny, this connection here. Um, seven of Wands, please, clarification. Please and thank you. What do we got for the Seven of Wands? Please and thank you. What do we got? 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 Is this? Okay. This one was really sticking out to me, so I uh, grabbed it. King of Pentacles. Okay. What else, please? Okay, King of Cups, girl. With the Seven of Wands. The Seven of Wands is all about like overcoming obstacles, even if that those obstacles seem like impossible to overcome. Um, but it has a lot to do with confidence and not only just confidence in yourself, but like confidence from like divine, um, pulling upon that divine energy to give them the confidence to overcome something. And then the fact that that came out with, that was clarified by the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups here. That's two different energies. So this person knows that they have competition here. And that's actually quite interesting too because earlier they showed up as the King of Wands. You may have three different energies that are digging you right now. 
There's somebody that's very secure within themselves. They have stability, they're established, potentially in the community or within their life. Um, King of Cups, this is somebody that is very deeply caring, loving, kind, giving. Somebody with very deep emotions for you. And they showed up as the King of Wands earlier. So I think there's three energies actually going on right here. Right here, right now. Yeah, so they see that you got you got suitors, you know? You got people in the wings waiting for their opportunity. And that, I think, intimidates them. But I feel like it also motivates them. Because they're showing up in all this wand energy, which is fire. And I think they like a challenge. They're showing up in the King of Wands energy. So I think they like the challenge that this presents. Like the fact that you may not be super easy to get. It's like they like that for some reason. Um, at, the, at the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Swords. So you might be questioning um this person when they come forward or maybe establishing some sort of boundaries here um or maybe if all three of these energies come towards you you're probably gonna be like whoa, whoa, whoa wait 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 you know like slow your roll here i gotta make some actual well thought out decisions um especially if there's three different energies i can see that being very overwhelming for you uh yeah and so like this is what um This is like what you don't see. This is what's hidden right now. So I think you're on the mind of three different energies. Uh, could be fire signs, earth signs, or water signs. Doesn't have to be. Um, that can just be their energy that they're embodying during this time. Uh, okay, so let's clarify the two of wands. Thank you. Okay. Anything else for that, please? And then get. All right, interesting. So Ace of Wands, clarifying the Two of Wands. Okay, so this person, I, I can't, I have to say exactly what I'm feeling and I'm gonna be truthful. Uh, this person is hot in the pants for you. I'm just gonna say it. They like you, they like what you got going on. They wanna come towards this. But they also came out with a page of pentacles. So it's like, they got a lot of passion, but they're not offering a lot. And I suppose that this could be due to not really knowing what you have going on right now. And maybe they're just like trying to feel, feel out the situation, so to speak, um, by like maybe opening a conversation, starting out small but they have a lot of passion for you and they know that you're what they want. Um, I really don't like that Ace of Wands energy because especially with the very strong feeling of this person's, you know, very heavily attracted to you. I just don't, I don't like that energy on its own because it's like, there needs to be feelings involved, right? For it to be longer lasting because passion can come and go, you know? Let me clarify that Ace of, um, Ace of Wands. Because I want to make sure that this person is coming at you with the right kind of energy. My collective deserves the right kind of energy to come towards them. I mean, you have options. So like, if this person doesn't come correct, somebody else will. So don't even sweat it. If this person shows up in a player energy, I know that you, you're you going to know exactly what you need to do. Oh, jeez Louise, okay. That one popped right on out. Um, okay, <laughs> yeah. So, clarification for this Ace of Wands. Seven of Wands, which we discussed earlier. Some of these cards are really loud. Anyways, um... Yeah, so Seven of Wands, clarifying the Ace of Wands. So again, there's something about competition overcoming obstacles. Uh, let's see what this one is. Oh, that's interesting. Came out in the reverse, Knight of Wands.
Bottom of the deck, two of cups. So this person does have feelings. That doesn't make any sense to me. Cause like, why are they embodying the, the Knight of Wands in the reverse? If they know this is what they want and they're willing to overcome obstacles, they're willing to, you know, come up against any other suitors. This is a weird energy. I don't know how to feel about this. Because it's wishy-washy. I don't like wishy-washy energy. Because wishy-washy energy means that they're uncertain. And uncertainty leads to hesitation. And hesitation leads to nothing happening. Um, in the reality of it, you know? Clarify the uh, Knight of Wands, please, and thank you. In the reverse, thank you. Okay. Okay. Whoa, okay, okay. Oh, I see. Okay, um, Six of Cups. Lovers. Five of Cups. Bottom of the deck is the Sun card. So. This is somebody from your past. Somebody that made a wrong choice with the lovers. And that is a decision that haunts them. They feel brokenhearted. They feel like, okay, I think I see now. The reason why they're scared to come towards you is because they have a past with you. I feel like they chose something or someone else over this connection. And as a result of that, they are sad. And they're like, oh no, you know, what could have been? You know, if I only had acted when I felt the desire to or whatever. Um, so now they're like hesitant because I feel like they don't know what to expect from you. Um, I believe I'm going to have some background noise in just a minute. Let's see. Whatever. Okay. Maybe not. Um, the sun card at the bottom of the deck indicates that they um, see this connection as ultimate happiness. Like, they would be so happy if this thing uh, actually worked out and, like, this, this connection actually got off the ground here. So I'm seeing, especially because there's, like, this, with the six of cups, it's, like, a happy past energy. Um... I think you guys had a good time together in the past, but I don't see it as like a, an ex necessarily. Because it's like, even though there's this disappointment, it doesn't necessarily look like a breakup to me. It just seems like, especially with the lover's card, this person made a decision. They had choices to make and they just chose the wrong path and they regret that that they see you as their son. And also the sun can indicate that this is coming to light during this time for you. This is being exposed. This person is finally coming forward. Okay, uh, tower card please, clarification. Please and thank you. Please and thank you very much. Was that meant? No. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Anything else? Okay. 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 Thank you. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom. Okay. 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 Huh. 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 Interesting energy. Okay. Let me start from the top. Uh, magician card came out in the reverse. Two of Pentacles. Upright. Queen of Wands. So, Magician in the Reverse, that's some sketchy energy, especially with the Tower. Okay. The Magician in the Reverse, I don't always like that energy because it can definitely indicate the more darker sides of the Magician card. You know, manipulation. 
for the wrong reasons, you know what I mean? Like not just the manipulation of like energy and like, you know, trying to manifest um, for like the good of all or, or for themselves in a good way, a good positive way. It feels a little dark and not to scare you in any way, but it's just that this is clarifying the tower. Um, I keep hearing the neighbors and I'm like, oh, it's going to be noisy, but it doesn't seem like they're coming in right now. Anyways, um, okay, I'll be clarifying the magician card in the reverse, but let me just continue. Um, with the two of pentacles, there is a need for balance here, but they are, they're trying to achieve that sense of balance here. Uh, the Queen of Wands is showing to me that they see you as their divine counterpart because they showed up, as I said earlier, as the King of Wands energy. The Queen of Wands coming out just tells me that this person sees you as their their person, somebody that they could be quite compatible with. And, you know, this could be a passionate, very loving, very energetic connection. Yeah, let me clarify that Magician card in the reverse because it's irking me. It's working me and I don't like that. Okay. Um, please clarify the magician card in the reverse for me. Please and thank you. Okay. Okay. We got the chariot card and the five of pentacles. This is uh, clarifying again the magician card in the reverse. magician card in the reverse clarified by the chariot card in the five of pentacles so this person is wanting to put in the effort to come forward to this connection but there is a feeling of being left out in the cold so maybe things didn't end super great in the past and maybe you're not in connection like in contact i mean with this person currently for whatever reason Why are they feeling out in the cold? That's such a conflicting energy. The chariot and the five of pentacles. Because the chariot is all about going forward, being confident, you know, eager for whatever they're going to find, you know, moving forward. But the five of pentacles is all about feeling hopeless and not stable within themselves, feeling very broken hearted and just like, like the... Like, things are just not working out for them right now. And it's interesting, too, because at the bottom of the deck is the um, Nine of Cups. So it's like almost like you're doing good. This person, however, might be struggling a little bit. Actually, let me clarify that Five of Pentacles, because I don't know how to feel about that. Five of Pentacles, please and thank you. Maybe they're not confident in their um, manifesting abilities. They might be a little bit delulu about this situation or maybe that's their fear. Like if they come forward to you, that you'll just like slam the door in their face and that you won't be interested at all. And maybe that fear is holding them back and causing them to be insecure. That is interesting, interesting, interesting. So the Page of Swords came out like that. And if it's facing this way, I see that as a good sign. If it's facing um, the opposite way, I see that as something that's holding this person back. And the Page of Swords is often, you know, known as like the stalker card, you know? Somebody that's keeping an eye on you, watching things. Watching things. There may be some sort of misunderstanding here. 
I, I feel like they see something that makes them want to stop in their place, like something that makes them uncertain about coming forward. This knowledge, this, because this is, is, is more than a fear. It's like they saw something and that caused them to not want to come forward. This causes delays. Magician card in reverse. Chariot, Five of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Hmm. I feel like it's all okay. The message I'm getting with the Five of Pentacles now is like the church here is like you, the collective that I'm tapping into. These figures down here is how this person feels right now. And it's like, they don't even look, um, well, this little guy here does look into the window, um, but the other woman just keeps walking, like, that's not for me. Oh, this person's like internally conflicted because part of them is like, we can go into that church, right? Like we can approach this person and then the other, per, the other part of themselves is like, no, that's not for us. Like, that's not, that's not like reasonable or within reach for this person or that's how they feel. And so it's like this conflict within themselves and then they saw something, something on social media, something like by just observing you. Maybe they think that you're connected to somebody or that you're closed off to this person. So it's almost like this person needs to cause a tower moment within themselves to be able to come forward. Or that conflict right now that they're feeling inside is causing that tower moment internally. All right, interesting, interesting. Okay, um, King of Wands, please and thank you, clarification, thank you. Anything else? Let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Ten of Cups. This person sees you as a dream can come true, you know? Like a happily ever after. That's kind of like what I like to refer to this card as, is like happily ever after card. Because it's just so much emotional fulfillment. You got the, the house, you got the family, there's sunshine, rainbows, everything's so happy. Yeah. But at the bottom of the deck is the um, Seven of Pentacles. And even though this is the exact same card as we saw earlier, this energy is giving me a different energy. I, I feel like this, because if you look at this card here, the figure is looking at his crop and thinking like, you know, is this gonna be, you know, ready to harvest soon? Is it almost ready, kind of waiting for it to take off? Um, so it's almost like, although they see this as their happily ever after, that that could be the outcome if they were to gain this confidence and come towards you. But it's almost like they're kind of worried, like, do they have enough? Will they be seen as having enough for the person that they're coming towards? Let's um, see what else comes out for the King of Wands. Please and thank you. Thank you. Oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. The Temperance card. Oof, this is some crazy energy. Wheel of Fortune card. Those are two major arcana. Hmm. The Temperance card, it's actually pretty funny that the Temperance card came out because I accidentally called the Judgment card the Temperance card earlier. There could be a strong Sagittarius placements for this person. Um. So the temperance card is all about taking a situation 
maybe something that's not as ideal and turning it into something that is more ideal. Um, and so I think that this person sees this, you know, connection right now not being what they want it to be, but I feel like they, they are eager to transform this connection into something that is more stable, more loving, more fulfilling for the both of you. And the Wheel of Fortune card is like telling me that this is divine timing. This is like the universe like motivating this person to come forward. Like now is the time. The stars have aligned for this connection to come together. Ooh, that can be the title of the video. <laughs> stars have aligned to bring you two together, yeah. I think that they're, they're tapping into this sort of like spiritual um, energy and like the divine potentially they're tapping into that. And the divine, you know, their spirituality, the spiritual connection that they feel to the divine is like, it's just like everything points to you practically like the universe is just like yeah yeah go for it go for it but this person's like stuck in their 3d worries and concerns sorry if you can hear the cars outside yeah like now is the time for this to happen It's almost like if they don't act now, then somebody else, somebody else hope you can't hear that as loudly as I can uh, so anyways um, where was I oh okay I remember now so it's um this person is worried that if they don't act now I feel like they see you in such a elevated special place that they know that somebody else will come along and potentially be successful for you. Like somebody will take their place if they don't act now is kind of where they're coming from. And that's kind of what the divine is telling this person. Um, let's clarify the four of pentacles. Please, I'm like, okay. Okay, I'm kind of okay, thank you. That seems like a lot. Well, let's tell me a story. Let's go. All righty, what dropped on the floor? What's walked on the floor, eh? oh, It's very odd. Uh, very interesting here. Uh, the tower card came out in the reverse. This is clarifying the four of pentacles. So it's like there's a fear of this tower moment happening. And I believe that this connection is the tower moment that is happening. And it needs to happen. Like, it's going to shake up their life, but like, like they there's something about like being too content right now and it needs to change like there's such a strong feeling of like things are okay right now but what they want is something else you know it's like almost like when you're in a situation long enough you're just like okay this is fine but is it what you want though you know what I mean because like the tower card in the reverse, these figures look like they're like standing upright because in the in the upright, they're like falling upside down. But in the reverse, they're standing up and it's like, they're comfortable, they're in their safe place, but the tower card has to happen. They need to get out of that safe place because what they truly want is something that's not there, you know? Like this tower needs to fall down in order for something better to be repaired or um, something better to be built in its place, you know? It needs to be replaced with something that's actually what this person wants. So it's like something about their life. They're not, con they're not 
truly happy with, but they're contented enough where it's like, do I really want to shake things up kind of thing? Okay. And a bunch of cards also came out, so it's trying to tell me a story here. Um, five of Wands. This could be competition or conflict here. Again, there's like this, this theme of like competition. Like they know that competition is there. And I think that that simultaneously motivates them to come towards this connection, but it also scares them. Uh, the Ten of Wands, maybe they feel like they have a lot of work to put into this uh, situation. Like maybe they're like not wanting to put in all that effort because it like weighs heavily. Okay, let's keep going. I don't want to get hung up on the individual cards quite yet. The Hermit card. The Death card. Six of Wands. The King of Wands. So yeah, they're still showing up as the King of Wands energy, but there's like things that they have to work through. The Tower card in the reverse is like their fear. They don't want to shake things up so much. They see that there's comp um, competition for you. And then there's like this overburdened feeling. But then the hermit shows up, so it's like this person is, maybe they feel so overwhelmed with all of these thoughts right now. I'm almost seeing on the 10 of wands, like each one of those wands that is heavily on their back, you know, they're carrying all these wands. It's almost like, um, they're so overwhelmed with like their thoughts, their passions, that they need to take this time to embody the hermit mode here and take some time, maybe step back, be um, in solitude, kind of figure things out on a personal level. And then when they're ready to shed off this life that they have, they're going to be stepping into a new version of themselves. So they go from the hermit card to the death card and the death card is all about transitions and transformations. And then it being followed by the six of wands, like this person Because the Six of Wands is all about like being celebrated, being, you know, he's returning from battle. So obviously he won the, the battle here. And so everybody's like, woohoo, you did such a good job. Woohoo, you're great. And this guy's like, oh yeah, I'm great. I'm pretty awesome. So it's almost like they need encouragement or something and then they embody the king of wands okay um at the bottom of the deck is the star card uh yeah and that's quite interesting because in the hermit card if you see this little star that he got that he got <laughs> that he has in his little lantern here that is his guiding light that is his guiding star and that's the same star that's on the star card so it's like you are you you are the end goal you know like this is so important to this person like you are what is motivating them but also scaring them it's so so fascinating this energy yeah it's like they see this as their wish fulfillment as their manifestation dream come true and it's guiding them and it's like it it's almost like a like an intuition or something something in them is just calling out to you so it's like they know that they have to overcome these fears and this, these burdens that are holding them back in order for them to be 
confident and come towards you and embodying that king of wands energy because the king of wands is a very confident personality that's somebody that like is very likable but you know their confidence adds to that likability like people admire the king of wands for being so confident um you know there's like that social butterfly element as well so it's like this person is typically a confident person but i feel like you kind of don't make them that way or like you don't like they're usually confident i feel like maybe in their work maybe in their um other things that they have going on in their life but when it comes to you they're not so confident but they know that if they want to win and they want um they want this connection that that fear isn't helping them and that Yeah, that lack of confidence in regard to this connection is just being a blockage and So I'm also getting the message with the six of wands here that they could be looking for a sign from you Especially if they saw something here that kind of scared them with the page of wands. I mean page of swords, excuse me um, They saw something that made them nervous and potentially made them take a step back because they're like, oh, am I crazy? Am I delu delu Is this connection not what I've built it up to be in my mind? Because I feel like that's very much like they're psyching themselves out here. Um, and it's like they need almost like some external boost of confidence. Like they, they, I think that they want you to show them something, like give them some hope, give them some something to work with here is the phrase I'm getting. So it's like, I think they're waiting for a sign from you. Like, yeah, I think they're looking for any sort of little sign from you in order to be like, okay, at least I know that they're digging me. You know, it's like that, that feeling of like, they need some sort of sign to know that you are at least even interested in them. Cause I feel like they don't know right now. I feel like, and because they don't know, their fear is getting the best of them. So it's like maybe, I don't know, smile in this person's direction if you're interested, um, if your intuition is telling you that. And I feel like, or maybe even have a conversation with this person if you like know who this is, that could be enough to kind of open the door in order for this person to come in, you know? I feel like they just wanna know if you're open to them. And I feel like they don't really necessarily like even expect you to be head over heels in love with um with in love with them um even though they feel all this passion and love towards you it's like they're they're not necessarily expecting the same in response it's just like they they just want any kind of little little sliver of hope you know like they just want just a little bit of like you know, a little something so that they are like, oh, okay, maybe it's not hopeless. Maybe if I do approach this, I have a chance. You know, it's like they just want to know that they have a chance, even if it's a slim chance. They just want some little sign from you, I feel, to kind of like help them be more confident to come towards this. Okay, let's ask for some advice from the universe. What is the advice? Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Okay. Okay. This is weird. Um. Anyways. <laughs> so the wheel of fortune came out again. We got the wheel of fortune earlier in the other deck. Spirit says I said what I said, and I feel like yeah, divine timing is at play right here, right, right here, right now. You know. Uh, Six of Wands came out in the reverse this time, which is interesting because we just had the Six of Wands up, right? And the reversals can very much do with their fears. So yes. Um, okay, okay, since this is your advice, 
think that you may not see this as something that could work out. Okay, okay, I'm getting, okay. So what other cards came out for this um, advice was also the Three of Cups and the Daughter of Wands. So um, the Daughter of Wands is representing the Page of Wands in this deck. So the pages are very sort of, when they come towards somebody to communicate, um, the offer that they offer to the person is typically smaller. And that may just be because like this relationship with this person, this connection with this person hasn't really developed past that opening sort of smaller offer. So it's like, and the Three of Cups has to do with like friendships and stuff. So it's almost like maybe you see this person as more of a friend. Uh, or maybe like you have a smaller sense of passion towards them. Like I feel like you, you have passion towards this person, but it's in the baby stages, you know, like it's in the, the unevolved, undeveloped sort of stage. Like the relationship or the connection needs to be it needs to progress a little bit more before you're confident in like what you're feeling I feel um so yeah I think you have to get to know this person a little bit more I think you may not know them enough to like yeah you may not know them enough uh in order to feel like this could be successful but I feel like you are being guided guided towards this connection as well with the wheel of fortune because like not only are they being told by the universe that this is meant to happen right now but also the universe is telling you that this is ready to happen right now um so maybe trust that maybe trust that like message from the universe if that's what you're getting right now um and i feel like it could be very much likely that you want to start out as friends like you don't want to yeah, I think you need to develop this a little bit further before you're able to. In order for you to get those feelings that are just as deep, just as meaningful, I feel like it needs to be developed more. This connection needs to be developed more. And you need more information. You need more um, experience with this person. I feel like you need to feel them out because I, especially if you're not in communication with this person currently, yeah, I feel like you're kind of like... Um, yeah, you're like, uh, like if this person comes towards you with some sort of offer, I feel like you're going to be like, yeah, let's, you know, start out slow. Let's just, you know, work on a friendship right now and see where it goes. You know, I feel like it's more along those lines, especially because at the bottom of the deck is the Daughter of Cups, otherwise known as the Page of Cups. Again, another page. So I, I see you kind of like in the early beginning stages of this connection. It's like you may have romantic feelings for this person, but you need to know them a little bit more before you can say for certain yeah so i think you're although you're being called to this connection by the universe i think the universe is also telling you to take your time as well because i don't think that there's a rush there's no need to rush this connection especially if you just need to get to know each other and like hang out a few times have a few different conversations about different topics like I feel like you want to know, like, how does this person work? Do you guys even have anything in common, you know? Like, are you compatible in reality? Like, there's a lot of questions I feel like that you have, and that causes you to be uncertain about the success of this relationship or connection. And so it's like, yeah, you just need more time. You just need more time to get to know this person to develop this connection a little bit further. And I think that's gonna be the good, like that's the, you know, that's the way to go. That seems like a good game plan. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I feel like that's really what it's saying here. Although, you know, the universe is telling you to go for it, I think they want you to go for it in a way that makes you comfortable, you know, taking the time to develop it, you know, maybe taking a slower approach. 
And I feel like that's going to lead to success with this. Um, yeah, like baby steps, kind of baby steps to work towards that end goal of a relationship or something that's a little bit deeper. And who knows, maybe you won't go any any further than the friends uh, area with this person. Maybe you start out as friends and then you're like, you know what, I prefer this person as a friend. Um, and then maybe you just realize, you know, maybe those feelings of passion, those feelings of romance aren't, you know, maybe you don't feel that way. And you're perfectly um, allowed to to realize that or to accept that, you know? Um, so, yeah, I think starting out as friends is a good way to start, you know? Build up that s stable foundation because, again, there's, like, there's a need to take things slowly because when it comes to connections um, and relationships and stuff, it's really good to start slowly and build something over time because, like, the longer you spend building something up, the longer it takes for that to fall down, you know? Like, think of it as like even a house. If you're gonna quickly make a house, like you have 24 hours to build a house, <laughs> you know? Like, and you're starting from scratch, you know? That house is probably not gonna be super structurally sound. You wanna take your time to build a house. You wanna make sure that you have the right materials, that you have the right help, that you have, you know, the proper resources necessary to build a good house. And, you know, I feel like that's the same with this relationship. You want to take the time to build it because you want it to be something worth having. Because if you rush into something, it can very easily... Okay, so... Where was I going with this? Yeah, if you rush something... If you rush into something, you can very easily rush out of that because you don't have the proper foundation in place. So yeah, you're taking your time. You're doing everything you need to. And I see that being a good way to go, good game plan. And you'll have a good outcome because no matter how it ends, um, whether you decide to be friends or continue into a connection, you're doing what is best for you, and that is what the universe wants from you. First and foremost, they want you to do what's right for you. Okay. Yeah, and I think that's what I got here for you. So I hope that this resonated for you. If it resonated, feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you subscribe, you can become part of the Hive Collective. My name's Bee, and so bees live in hives. You can become an honorary bee like me. Um, and yeah, I want to build up this collective because like, I feel such a strong connection to this collective, especially through these readings. You're very spiritually evolved. You're very in tune with your spirituality and the divine. And I love that. And I, I just want this community to grow and we can be all of these, not the same energy, of course, but like, we're like, like-minded energies. We can understand one another. And I feel like that, that builds strength and happiness and community. Yeah, we want, we want a community going on here. Anywho, um, so yeah, that's what I have for you. Please, um, or I hope that you stay tuned for any future readings. And I'll see you then. Thank you so much. Bye.